Hey YouTube, back again with another video. So you can see right here, I'm actually driving in an HOV lane right now in Navigate on Autopilot. You can tell that by this straight blue line here and the blue steering wheel on your center display. But first, I wanna give a quick shout out to all of you that have recently subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. Okay, let's go into the navigation settings and turn off use HOV lanes and see what happens. So I'm just gonna tap that button and you can see that the car instantly initiates a lane change to get out of the HOV lane. In this instance, it would be a move to the right lane. So let's watch that lane change here. Very smooth lane changes with this current version I'm running right here on my Model 3. No complaints whatsoever. Okay, so navigate on autopilot can successfully take us out of the HOV lane, but can we go back into the HOV lane if the car needs to pass somebody? So let's speed up the video here until we get to a point where traffic starts to slow down a little bit. This is gonna give us the opportunity to see if navigate on autopilot will use the HOV lane once the setting is turned back on. Okay, so we've gotten to a point where the car is slowing down because of traffic in front of us. I want you to notice here that the car is not going into the left lane and not trying to make a lane change even though our max speed is higher than the current speed that we're traveling. So let's go back into the settings and turn on used HOV lanes and see what happens. So immediately, as soon as I turn it on, the car is trying to get into that left lane to pass the slower car in front of us. Now what's interesting here is, so the car is very conservative on these lane changes. So it could have gotten in front of this white truck that you're gonna see in the left lane over here, but as you can see on the center display, it's showing that left line is red and it's showing the red cars as the reason why it's not gonna make the lane change yet. And of course, in Northern Virginia, nobody slows down even when you have your blinker on to let you over. Um, that's probably the case in most cities around the US. So we wait for this other car and as soon as this car passes here, then the autopilot recognizes that the lane is clear and takes the lane change. If you notice here, the car is trying to get back over because our exit's coming up. So it spent so much time trying to get into that left lane that we've moved far down the highway that the car actually has to get back over. Here's an improvement for the navigate on autopilot feature. So if we go back to where we were trying to get into the passing lane, all this time that was spent trying to get into the passing lane, it's like once the car makes a decision to get into a lane like this left lane here, it's not gonna change its mind. So right here as a human driver, knowing that my exit's coming up in a couple miles, rather than make a change into the left lane, I would choose to go into the right lane because the traffic looks more open over there. We can get more understanding about how the autopilot system is thinking when we see this message pop up, upcoming lane change. And there actually is a gray line in the lane that it wants to move into. It's pretty cool to see that. And since the autopilot knows far in advance that it's gonna take that lane, it kind of gives us as a heads up as a driver and you can actually click on that blue rectangle to cancel the lane change if you wanted to. So we're gonna allow this autopilot to make the lane change no input by the driver there. And this is one of, I think, 9 million lane changes that Tesla's autopilot or navigate on autopilot has been able to do automatically. If I got that number wrong, please correct me in the comments down below. If you're in the market to buy or lease a new Tesla, now is a great time to purchase. Until May 28th, you can actually get 5,000 miles of free supercharging if you purchase or lease a new Tesla. This is incredible. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.